hey guys i'm rachel welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified whenever i upload a video and while you're at it give this video a thumbs up and share to someone you think might like it and stay to the end <laughs> so today i am playing with makeup i'm quarantined nothing else to do so that's what we're doing i am using some uh new to me makeup this makeup has been out i've just never used them before so i already primed my face with the wet and wild primer serum this one i'm loving this primer as you can see it's a hydrating primer which i think is going to be perfect for this foundation i'm about to use the juvia's place velvet what is it the juvia's place i am magic velvet matte foundation and i have my shade in nairobi this foundation you guys is one of the thickest foundation i've ever used in my entire life i'm literally taking this much you see this for my entire face like that's it it's this spreads so well it covers so well the tiniest bit goes the longest way trust me it reminds me of the smashbox full coverage foundation the other one that i have as well do you see what a dot just did to my face like really so i really recommend starting small with this foundation because it's so thick and it's so full coverage so if you're someone who's extremely oily you're gonna love this foundation if you're dry um i would recommend like using real like um using more hydrating primers and setting sprays and stuff like that and i feel like you can get away with using a foundation like this but i really really do like it and I do recommend using a damp sponge as opposed to a brush just for the, um, the added moisture um, from the sponge because it's such a matte foundation. So for my concealer, I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I don't think I've ever used this concealer on my channel before. What I can say about this concealer is that it dries really, really fast and it sets beautifully. It's almost something like a waterproof formula in my opinion. Like it really dries fast and sets in place. So you kind of have to work with it like really, really quick. There we have it blended. Like I said, you have to work really fast with it, but when it sets, it sets and it lasts. It looks really nice on the skin. So I'm just gonna prime my eyelids for shadow as well. And I'm using this new Gerald Cosmetics clean canvas eye base in medium i actually really like this um this as well it dries down to a real nice matte finish it does not bulge on your eyes i'm someone who just uses concealer for my shadow it it works fine but i was like let me try something else because my eyes has creases a lot as well so this just helps to minimize that for me it's also going to make my shadows pop just a little bit more all right so there you have it so i'm gonna let that set as well while i walk on the rest of my face also the tiniest bit goes the longest way the smallest smallest amount so bear that in mind and so i'm just gonna go in with my um mac powder foundation and just apply a little of that underneath my eyes first i always like going in with this denser um product it really just makes everything brighter and just lasts longer and give you a nice smoother finish in the end Right, so I just applied that where I applied the concealer. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, like what is new here. And just press that everywhere else to just lock it down a little bit. And it's very smoothing, so I, I actually like to use it for that reason. Because the side of my face stays just fine. But it just smooths everything so nicely. And with this foundation, I don't feel like you need to set your face much either. Because it really just stays in place. And it's also going to make my bronzer and whatnot go on smoother as well so there are a lot of cons to using the powder now i'm going to like set underneath like set set underneath my eyes with a little bit of this flower like look at the packaging is this um beauty bakery flower setting powder like the packaging is so cute <laughs> i've never used it before it actually comes in like oops it comes in a like flower bag looking thing i just felt like the packaging was so cute i just had to show you guys so like i said i've never used it before this is my first time i got the shade cassava flower pretty nice packaging take a little bit of this powder on my sponge and set underneath my eyes i don't know it, it seems sort of smoothing and it all right not bad not bad at all 
so what are you guys doing how are you guys doing um with the quarantine like where are you from where do you live like comment down below where you're from and how you're doing with the quarantine as for me we are considered a non-essential business so so i'm home until further notice i'm gonna bronze my face with this morphe um glamour bronzer in the shade trailblazer yeah so because we're considered a non-essential business nail tech makeup artist we shut down with a mandatory thing until uh further notice so i'm actually home i'm gonna try to do a video every other day like <laughs> that's all i can do at first when i heard about the corona i'm like it didn't seem real to me because all i was doing was hearing and i wasn't seeing anything any anyone coming forth like no victims of the family members like nothing so it didn't seem real to me but now i'm saying this shit is so real um please try to do as you're told keep with the social distancing like it really is gonna help i see that i don't want to um put anybody at risk like be careful you know protect the people that you don't know as well like the people you come in contact with with your household like when you go out do what it is you're supposed to do so that we can stay safe and that we can be over this this pandemic as soon as possible because this is so so serious i'm gonna add a little blush i'm gonna use my flower beauty blush if you don't know about flower beauty blushes you're underneath a rock and you need to get out like now they're really nice i'm using the shade i keep dropping everything i'm using the shade sweet pea i'm just gonna pop some of that on my cheeks so yeah so please like protect the ones you love and protect the ones you don't love as well like really you just doing what it is you're supposed to do is gonna help us as a nation as a world to get over this this virus as fast as possible it's crazy how it's spreading like you know in new york like i'm in new york and i mean it's frightening honestly all right so i'm gonna do my eyes let me zoom you guys in just a tad bit i'm gonna use this elf bite size shadows they are so cute I have it in another color and they come in about six or seven different colors it is just so cute so i got the shade um acai you <laughs> cute um so i'm gonna start with this color right here and pop that in my crease as my transition shade so this this little shadows are only like three bucks three dollars and you can't go wrong like if you're someone who travels with makeup and whatnot uh in your everyday bag probably want to do something in the evening to switch up from a day to a night look i think they're really nice to travel with they're so tiny so that blended nicely it builds nicely the pigment is there now i'm gonna deepen that out from my outer v into my crease i'm gonna take this the darker shade in the palette top of that excess i'm doing it on a packer brush and apply that on my outer v like really pack that there drag it in a little bit into my crease and so there we have it i'm gonna take the first brush i started with I'm just soften the edges a little bit the one that i used before to pack it was the elf this little elf crease brush i think it's an eye blending brush and i paid a dollar for this brush when elf had like the dollar line brushes and it packed the color beautifully i've never used it before it packed it nicely so we're just softening the edges just a bit make sure everything is blended i'm going to take that same dark color that i used in my outer v and crease and apply that to my bottom lashes as well I always like pulling my shadows out like to the tail of my brow I feel like it complements my face shape better my eye shape better it's like just dragging it out more to create more of a cut eye effect there we have it so now i'm gonna take this shimmer color on a pack of brush load up my brush with this then i'm gonna wet my brush with some spray 
and apply that on the lid area. Not bad at all. And almost as if I'm creating a cut crease, but just with the shadows, not actually going in and mapping out a crease. I hardly had any follows with that as well. I'm impressed. I'm just gonna go in with a regular black liner and pop that in my waterline. Okay, so there we have the eye look completed. I am going to do my brows in one, two. All right, so now I'm gonna apply some setting spray all over my face. I'm gonna use Anastasia Dewy Set. like what a difference setting spray makes and i like this one this is a new one to my collection as well of course this is what this video is about and um it it is not like it doesn't make your face look wet and dewy but it just gives you a nice luminosity that just makes your makeup look more real <laughs> i don't know how to explain it just try it just try it so I'm going to add some glow to my face and I'm using Jaclyn Hill loose uh, highlight in high volt and since I got this highlighter I haven't put it down is what I've been using it is a really nice formula I honestly really do like it it turns into um, a sort of like almost like a cream formula after you would have wet your brush with some setting spray and it's just like just do you see that it's like really really beautiful i really do like it it's so nice she did a really good job at creating these highlights you know add some to my nose i know she had a rough year and whatnot with certain things but um you gotta give jackets jacket give dues where they are due and that is a really nice highlighter all right, so I applied some mascara, my Big Shot mascara. If you wanna do lashes, you do lashes, but if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I don't always do lashes. I'm not the biggest fan of lashes. Every day, it's like saving an extra step for me, but you do you, boo. So I'm gonna do my lips now, and I'm gonna use my BFF4 by Colourpop. And I'm going to be using a new lipstick formula that I have been loving. Like I said, it's new to me. It's been out. It's the Morphe Matte Lipstick in the shade Fling. And since I got this one again, I have not been using anything else. It's such a nice formula. And there we have it. This lipstick... I slept on it for a long time. It's really matte, but it's not uncomfortable matte and it lasts really, really well throughout the day. So if you're someone who does not like liquid lipsticks, I feel like this could be a really nice alternative because it really does last. It stays in place. It's not overly dry and uncomfortable on the lips. So there we have it. The completed look of using products that are new to me. Most of the products that I use are new to me. And like I said, it's not my first time using it, but I like them. I have been using it and I like them. The only thing I've used for the first time is this. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on how I feel about this powder. But everything else I know I already loved because I have been using it. I hope you guys are staying safe, doing what you need to do, your social distancing. Everything that's in, that has been put in place has been put in place for a better us, a better community a better new york a better america so please please try to follow those things in place and i hope that this experience is going to teach us something that we will have taken something from this experience and that we have come out changed a better version of ourselves that's what i hope so um i will leave everything in the description box and i am still a nail tech and a makeup artist but we are on pause but i still have a page you can follow me on on my social media platforms everything will be in the description box as well so you can check that out um so let's continue to touch the world one face at a time because we really do need to do that right now and i'll see you in my next video very soon bye guys <laughs>